Well, today I want to answer some uh, questions that were asked, and then I want to uh, tell you about a plan I've got coming up that you may be interested in. First question, do you get homesick? Um, no, not really. I, I've been fairly isolated for the past four years. And so being here and being alone or being back in the States and being alone, it really, there's no difference. How much money do you carry every day? Well, <laughs> it depends. Uh, first of all, I have debit cards, so if I ever really need money, I'll, I'll have it. Uh, it could be anywhere from $40 to $100, maybe, uh, sometimes less. Sometimes I just take a pocket full of uh, coins and throw it in my pocket. It depends on what I'm doing. I will suggest to you, if you're coming here, uh, don't carry a wallet. Learn other ways to carry the few important things. Uh, forget about having a, a wallet or a big purse, carrying pictures of everything under the sun and documents for everything. Clean house, thin everything down. Only carry the absolute necessities, maybe a credit card and a debit card, uh, your ID card, and a little bit of money and then find a way to carry that without having it in a wallet. This wasn't a question, it was a suggestion. I was told about a Hello Talk app. And so I took a look at it and it looks very interesting. It's a way to get online with someone from another country that wants to learn English and you can learn whatever those languages are that they have and it's, a, it's an interesting selection process uh, so I would recommend it now I haven't got into it deep I've just dabbled in it just recently but thank you for the suggestion and I think it was a very good suggestion Question, what is the price of ice cream? How long is a string in my pocket? I, <laughs> I don't know. Do you mean a single dip cone? Do you mean a double dip cone? Do you mean a banana split? I don't even know how to answer that. Uh, let's say, depending on what you're gonna get and where you go, it could be 25 cents to $6. Okay, I will no longer be doing Skype calls for people that have questions. I, I just, I'm, I'm not upset, but it, it was a little annoying. I had somebody who wanted to, had a bunch of questions, and to type that back and forth was really awkward, and we really needed a conversation so I could understand, you know, where they were coming from. I, I didn't quite get what they were saying, so I said, well, let's do a Skype call. And so, you know, I set it up and I had to reschedule it because something came up on my end. It was a bit, it was a water emergency, as a matter of fact. But, um, so I set it up for the next day and I made sure that I didn't do any, it was, it was actually one of the few nice days and I, I stayed home and I was waiting for the call, was ready for the call, made sure my Skype was working, and I hung out and it, it never came. I, I really, I can't say I don't have time to waste, but I, I don't like to waste time. I have things to do. My days stay pretty busy, whether I stay home or where I'm going somewhere. I start my day uh, with a list of things that I want to accomplish. and. Um, 
I just felt like that was just a total waste of time. And so I'm going to do Skype calls, but I'm only going to do it for the people who subscribed on Patreon. They want the extra mile, I'll go the extra mile. Now I want to tell you about a plan that I have. I've mentioned before that I have planned uh, this coming year, the end of this year and next year to do a lot of traveling. Well, recently I've been thinking a lot about Colombia. As you know, I lived there for a little while. I really like Colombia and I wanted to go back and see places I've been and visit people. I ran into a YouTube video where it was uh, somebody visiting and they went to Parque de Cafe. And it just brought back really good memories. And I miss a lot of things there. And so in the next two weeks, unless something comes up drastic that I, I won't be able to do it, I'm going to be going to Colombia. And my, the place I plan to go is Armenia, um, or Pereira, which is where I was, but Armenia is right next to it. And I'm going for two reasons. One, because I miss it, I want to see it, and um, I'll say three reasons. And I really kind of miss some dry warmth. <laughs> and that's a little bit, it's a little bit warmer there. And the elevation's about 4,600 feet, which is more like Vilcabamba here. So it's, it's a little more tropical, high 70s, low 80s uh, during the day. I have to eat that bird. But the other reason is because there's been things happening here in Ecuador. And to be perfectly honest with you, I'm kind of reconsidering, is this where I'm going to stay? And I love the place. I'm very happy here. I'm very content here. But there's recently a law that I have to do a little research, but it could put a crimp. And that's, they're going to make it mandatory to carry health insurance, sound familiar? And the cheapest outlet for me will be about $220 a month. And I have coverage, but the coverage that I have doesn't qualify under the law for Ecuador. It qualifies if I have a problem and get sick, I have everything planned out. I have everything set up in case something happens, but it doesn't suit what their law is. So. $220 a month is, is a serious amount for me. And so that, be, that can become problematic. Now I have a lot more research to do and I don't necessarily, I don't really want to move, but I'm not going to let something sneak up on me without having a plan, without having a plan B, without having an alternate course of action. And so I know for a fact that in Colombia it is so easy to get a residency um, visa. It is so easy. As a matter of fact, if I want to go on a retirement visa, all I have to do is have a, a documented piece of paper showing what it is that I, I have for an income. And as long as it's over $900 approximately, then I have the visa. It's all relatively inexpensive. The entire process there is far less than what I paid here for the residency. And there, because it's really, it's really so simple, and I don't need a lot of documentation, I just need my, my passport and that one document. I can go to their immigration and, and do it yourself. So it's, uh, it's a pretty simple thing to do. So I'm going to go there with that in the back of my mind. That's not in the forefront of my mind, but it's in the back of my mind that if things come up that um, I just don't want to deal with, then that's where I'm going to go. And um, depending on where you go, the cost of living is better on average. Um, if you go to a smaller city, a city the size of Cuenca or smaller, it's actually what would cost you twelve hundred dollars to fifteen hundred here would be maybe nine to a thousand there. Now if you're talking about Medellin or or Bogota, th that's going to be the same or more. 
than it would be in a place like Cuenca or Quito. Thank you for the questions. Keep them coming. I'd be happy to answer them. And if I get three, four, five, or six, I'll, I'll do a video. I'll keep doing that. And those are my plans coming up. Um, one of the things that my plan hinges on is I need to find somebody who will come and house sit for a week or 10 days and just make sure the dog is fed. Now, one of my friends says, well, her mother maybe can come and do it. So if I can put that together, then boom, I'm out of here. The, the bus ticket to where I'm going, it's under $90. And the hostel in the town that I'm going, they run between five and $15 a night. So, you know, it's, it's something that you can just do just go you don't really need to make a whole lot of plans for thank you again for watching the videos thank you for all the nice comments i really appreciate the the likes and um, the subscriptions keep adding up they keep going up and so uh, thank you all for that and i'll see you later you know you could.